Hi Pisces, welcome to your Y reading for June 5th through March, no, hi, <laughs> June 5th through July 4th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, as well as the link for the Recommend a Reader shout out, uh, which is for Chandler the Light. Uh, much love and support to her, and hopefully you get a chance to click on that link and check her out. Show her some love and support. All right, Pisces. Why? Whatever your why is, hopefully this is uh, answer some questions or give you some confirmation here. Pisces, why? Six of Wands. All right, that featured in I think it was Scorpio's reading. All right. Oh my goodness. Pisces. Good gracious. Okay, so we've got Page of Swords and the Nine of Swords here. And the Four of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Yeesh. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this is about Are you watching and waiting and just really, and on the one hand, it's like you're done, right? But you're still really thinking about a situation or maybe you're not done in the sense that you're broken up, but there's a lot of worry. Hmm. No, this is your partner. This is your person. So you're not talking to your person, but they're, um, whew, they're still, they're still feeling everything, guilt, remorse, anger, um, confusion, betrayal, that they're, this is, they're still swimming around there. There's still a lot of feelings, um, swirling around for them and they are not settled. They keep replaying what happened over and over and over again, even though you're not talking, maybe they're waiting for you to come back or to um, make a move or to initiate communication. Maybe they're going, maybe they're stalking you online. Maybe they're going to reach out online. Maybe they're hoping you will. Um, geez Louise, they look at this. We got page of swords, nine of swords, four of swords. So this is someone that is just really needing to step away from this situation, but they keep replaying it over and over in their head. Um, and they're thinking about reaching out to you. I think they're thinking about, uh, reaching out. I got the queen of wands here. They're, they're thinking of patching things up or at least trying to explain themselves, offering some sort of action or communication for resolution. Huh? This could be Scorpio. This could be Aries. Wow. King of one. Okay. We're suited. So this was somebody that you felt very uh, in tune with, maybe even married to, uh, living as married, that communal connection we're suited here. This is someone that's thinking of um, reaching out and patching things up with you because they, they can't quit how they feel. Around and around they go. You know, it, it could be that someone just cut things off and... Um, and is needing to take a rest from the situation and get back out there and get after it. But I feel like this is still connected to you and they want to, I feel like this is, they're still thinking about the situation with you. Um, hmm. Three of wands, queen of cups, that could be a uh, Cancerian. And let me see if I can move this up a little bit. Seven of wands. Lovers, wow. Four of Wands, okay. All right, Pisces. So they, their mind, it's, I was gonna say like a bag of cats, but in the good way, like I, I, look at this, we got the Lovers and we got Four of Wands here. So this was definitely, this is a marriage, right? Queen of Wands, King of Wands, we're suited. We're talking about the breakup um, or someone being really distraught over how things are right now. If it's not a breakup, it's somebody that's really upset about how things are right now. For the Pisces that I'm reading for, for this situation, we're talking about a committed, connected partnership 
that is uh, in crisis, to say the least, if not ended. So, what's this Three of Wands about? I don't, what's this Three of Wands about? Three of Wands with the King of Pentacles. So, this is somebody that is, are they waiting on an offer of security? Are they, okay, hold on. What's this Queen of Cups about? No, let's go back to the tower. What's this tower about? What's this tower about? The three of wands again. Okay, so th this is somebody, I think they're hoping that you're going to take the initiative and approach them or reach out to them. It's killing them that you're not, Pisces, but I'm thinking that they're really hoping, because they, they're not settled. They're still waiting they're, they think that the answer right now is for them to be patient and they're really hoping that you'll you'll come around that you'll reach out um, that you'll take the initiative that hmm. again with I think this is I you know no offense but I think that this was over now when I say no offense it's because I think this was over security or someone feeling um, things need to be a little more stable or secure. And there's this idea that they want you to kind of grow up. Um, but I don't think it's about that. I think it's, it's more about them wanting to feel like things are more stable and secure and kind of waiting and hoping that that will materialize somehow that you will take the initiative Pisces to make that happen. This could be male or female. This could be male or female. It's all about someone, um, wanting to work things out and they're hoping that you will be the one to approach them with a solution about how to establish more stability and security with the relationship that once was or still is, but is in crisis. And yes, they were, um, they did feel that connection with you. They felt like the emotional part of it was very good. It was the security part of it, the stability, the where are we going, how's our you know, future look type of thing that they were not so sure of. Um, and this is someone that's going to stand their ground on that. They do, they, it's, it, it's both. They're going to stand their ground and yet it's going round and round in their head and they doubt themselves and they question and they, it's, and then they want to take a break and they this and that. And they're laying low, but they still got one eye open watching. This is someone that really wishes the situation could be different. And they do want things to work out, but they do feel very strongly that, yeah, we have an emotional connection, but we cannot survive if we don't have stability and a reasonable sense of like, you know, what our future is going to look like together. Commitment, connection, that sort of thing. What's this lover's card about? Maybe it's somebody didn't want to make that commitment or that connection or, you know, didn't want things to be that level, didn't want it anymore. Maybe that's what it is. What's this lover's card about? Okay, this flew out, the King of Cups. So that could be Pisces. This could be Cancerian. This could be Sagittarius. That could be Aries. That flew out, but all right. So was this someone was um, not, you weren't connecting emotionally? Is that what it was? Because it, it looks like the other person felt satisfied or fulfilled emotionally. They felt like, yeah, we're good there. But maybe it was you holding your emotions back or or somebody was feeling guarded. Interesting. Mm. Could be just a Pisces. What's this lover's card about? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups. Yeah, okay, so this... What, this is about a marriage and about connecting emotionally. Here she comes. Yep. All right. Well, it sounds like she's got a towel or something. All right. I'm going to hold off on that for a minute because I think this is about emotional connection. And I think, okay. Oh, 
I might have to go over there because she I don't think she's stopping. And she's old and she got a bad hip and I don't want her to throw it out again with the Yeah. She's fine. Listen to her. She's still yelling at me. Alright. So we got the King and the Queen of Cups and the Lover's card. I'm getting better than that. That could be Gemini, Taurus, or Libra. Could be Cancerian or Pisces. Um, the, is this is this about connecting emotionally? Is that what this is? Because I'm like, oh yeah, they're getting the needs met, you know, and the emotionally is good. They're, they're they're okay there. But this is about the security aspect of it. But was it? I mean, was it you two weren't connecting emotionally? Someone would, might have been a little, you know, holding back their emotions and been quite controlling. Maybe it was a very functional relationship, but it wasn't connected. And maybe that's what this is about. Maybe they're hoping that you'll because maybe for this person it emotional connection makes them feel secure and maybe that was the issue is the emotional connection and they're kind of still waiting for you to take the initiative to make things more secure which means to emotionally connect with them maybe this is a marriage that has nobody somebody's no longer interested in so they show up in uh, person but they're not there in spirit or in connection mind body heart that sort of thing and it's gone stale for them and they don't want it anymore and things are in a rift and the other person your person Pisces is really wanting to work things out and they're really hoping that you will uh, come back that you'll take the initiative to work things out to offer that security that would make them to offer that emotional connection that would make them feel secure but as much as they want it as much as round and round their head they go they are not going to initiate they're going to do whatever they can to keep themselves from reaching out and establishing contact um, because I think they want you to do it. On the one hand, maybe that's what they keep going round and round about because we got the Queen of Wands here and then we got the King of Wands. So we're suited again. We're suited here. But maybe they want, they keep thinking, It's. I feel like this is a loop. I feel like this is a loop. They keep going round and round. They're thinking about approaching you. They're thinking about Maybe it's that if you only would make the take the initiative, then they could just handle everything again. But that's what got you to in the the fir there in the first place, is that it was almost like, you know, maybe you would do something and then they would just take it and run with it, and so but then they turn around and they're hurt because you're not contributing, so to speak. You're not taking the initiative. Well, God, why would you? All you have to do is put your foot in the door and they do everything else. I mean, that's what it feels like. It feels like someone on the one hand is like, I want you to offer this. I want you to do that. All you have to do is show up. I'll do everything. Well, then what the hell do you want me to offer for? Why don't you just get a picture and tack it on the wall and we'll call it good? Because it just seems like they, um, this could be Virgo, by the way. I can't remember if I said that. But it, it just, was there some codependency? Is that what it was? It was codependency. We got the Queen of Cups here twice. So on the one hand, they could be saying, you know, I want this emotional connection, this emotional um, to make me feel more secure. But what if it's never enough? What if, yes, I am showing up. Yes, I am bringing all the things and I am helping you do this and I'm doing that and whatever. And you still want more. Like, what is going on? Why isn't it enough? How much more do I have to do? It's like, a, you know, is it a bottomless pit to where I, it's not about me really? It's about you feeling profoundly un stable or, or insecure and there's no matter what I do can't fix it only what I don't do just exacerbates it it makes it worse what's this four of wands about is this about just getting married I mean am I just falling down a rabbit hole and this is four of wands for Pisces okay this is stability security and control in a communal living situation in marriage in a happy transition taking things from um this waiting period this this casting out um you know your wishes and nets and all that and hoping you pull back some salmon and and stability <laughs> but this is that come to fruition and now it's oh happy day the harvest is here we got a bunch of salmon in the net and i got two offers of marriage and and the the town's doing good and blah 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 whatever this is about things coming to fruition. So you're putting the offer out there. You're being patient and then things come to fruition. Okay, that's the transition from three to four. So is this about your person really wanting that stability? And for you, Pisces, it could be just that. I'm not trying to lecture or beat up on you here, but we've got um, a happy transition that involves stability, security, and um, control, and predictability, and trustworthiness, and routine and establishment 
I don't think this is about um, going out and trying to find someone that you can control for marriage. I don't think it's that. I think this is transitioning from an insecure status with each other, which this person wants, they want to work together, they want on board, to a communal living situation, to finally settling down and tying the knot and bringing order um, out of chaos. I think this is about someone needing to feel like things are predictable because this is very similar here the, the king of pentacles and the emperor it's like someone wants assurances for the future someone wants to know that the future is solid with you um and honestly that's the takeaway here too that this is it, that's that's what the issues are right because we've got the tower and we've got the lovers and this marriage here this this marriage that's not emotionally connecting and because of that somebody doesn't feel secure for the future they need to feel emotionally safe first before they can feel like their future is secure. And that's what the takeaway is here is basically saying, you know what, if you do want a marriage with this person or that connection, they're going to need that from you. They're going to need things to be solid, a measure of predictability, but they're going to need that um, feeling like it's you and them connected and communal for the future. Not that things are up in the air. It's, it's like, you know what, enough. I want you to propose. I want you to take the initiative. But what if this is already a marriage? Well, that's what it's going to take to bring the marriage back together. Because this person is going around in a loop. They, they're thinking about it. They couldn't take it anymore, but they're thinking about it. They wish things were different. They're trying to get some reprieve and a rest. But, you know, maybe this is them wanting to go out and live their best life. But I feel like this was them kind of going back and forth about reaching back out to you. Because their mind's like a bag of cats right now. Like they're still going around and round and round and round about this. And they're waiting. And they think, well, maybe if I reach out, well, what are they doing online? Maybe I can... So it's like this indirect watching and um, keeping tabs. But they're not going to be the one to reach out. Although they think about it. I feel like they think about it. And they do feel like they're suited with you. I mean, we've got the King of Cups... Queen of Cups, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. This is somebody that feels like they're suited. All that's missing is that um, security piece. But again, they might have their own stuff to work on too because if they're like, all you got to do is show up, it'll be fine. Well, that, you can't have it both ways. You can't want me to meet you halfway and then turn around and tell me I only need to take one step and then you'll carry me the rest of the way. What, which is it? And that is codependency in a nutshell. <laughs> No, it's not funny, but I mean, it, you know, the example is, but that's, they, they might not even be aware that that's the dynamic that's going on because it's, it is definitely layered. Let's say that. All right. Hope I wasn't talking out of my behind here. What's, what's a confirmation card, please? Confirmation for Pisces. Please don't make me look stupid. Confirmation card for Pisces. <laughs> confirmation card. Why are you upside down? Don't do that. Information card for Pisces. Information for Pisces. King of Pentacles again, which is right here. So this is all about stability and security. Um, a lot of times this is about somebody needing to do their own thing. Um, but... Oh, I just saw this. Seven of Wands. That's the, that's the conflict. That's that loop they keep going around and around and around and around in. That's the loop. That's the conflict. That's the conflict. They do, um, I think I mentioned before, they're, they're standing their ground. But that's why they keep going around and around. Because they want to get, oh, they're, they're kind of, yeah, that tower is fitting for their state of mind. Um, for how they, you know, that's, this is that picture, that swirling, that, that's, that's what it feels like when I'm, I'm looking at them. Huh. So there is that conflict, that loop. They just keep moving. Should I reach out? Should I do that? <laughs> King of Pentacles. It's all about this person also feeling secure. You might only have, maybe that's why it ended because no matter what you did, it couldn't feel secure. Security is definitely an issue here. Although to be fair, it might be out of their awareness. They might not realize that that's a problem. They're putting a lot on your shoulders and you're like, you know, this isn't all me. And maybe they don't want to hear that. Like maybe they're defensive about it. But it is kind of asking a lot. Security, yes. Maybe you could you could move a little in that direction. But I also wonder if they'll never be satisfied. I think there's more going on here. I mean, we got the Queen of Cups twice. That could be some codependency. Um, okay. 
somewhere else for and maybe you're staying at your friend's house right now. Maybe that's what that six of wands is. What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? Okay, we'll go there. All right, so we've got the Empress, no, the High Priestess reversed, and we've got the Queen of Cups reversed. That is somebody in um, a very sort of, it, this is someone that instead of letting the dust settle and to kind of take the time to see how they feel about something, they're running around wanting to do something every night of the week because they don't want to be alone. They might be, um, you know, instead of going within and listening, they're going without and listening. So there might be a lot of gossip. There might be a lot of asking everybody what to do. This might be somebody that's constantly consulting tarot card readings online wanting, you know, looking at the cards into astrology, that sort of thing, to just have something define or predict because there's a profound feeling of being unsettled and insecure and kind of emotionally out of control. Um, this right here is codependency. Okay, so the, it very well could be that, that, what I was just talking about, that whole codependent thing, um, that no matter what somebody does, there's a profound sense of unease and feeling like no matter what's done, nothing's ever going to be enough. And maybe this was like the awakening to that. And they're putting it on your shoulders because it was, it's, you know, this is still very much fresh in their mind, but it might have more to do with their history than they realize. I mean, this is a nine here. So it, it could be that this is just the past repeating itself for them also. That this is an issue that keeps coming up over and over for them. And it might not just be something that a reconnection with you can fix. Just saying. Okay, Pisces, um, I hope this was helpful. Kind of kind of took a long time there, didn't it? Um, this could be Aries, by the way. I don't think I said that. Um, all right. Well, I, hope, I really do hope that you and your person are able to uh, figure this out. And I thank you for stopping by, and I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.